y'all, it's Danielle, and welcome to Let's Talk Food, where we talk about food, eat bomb food, and talk about whatever else is on my mind. So today, I have a very special guest. She's a dreamer, a world leader, a culinary educator, YouTuber, food blogger, and community activist. She is me! You are looking at the guest. We are going to be spending time together, y'all. So every time I make avocado toast, it's never just avocado. It's always something that incorporates all the colors, like something obnoxious. Like, as you can see, like from my whole show, I really like being extra. Like I love in like make, mixing different foods that people normally wouldn't mix and that's really how I learn like that's how I learn what you know goes well with what so I'm just gonna for this avocado the actual guac it's gonna be so basic because I'm about to have so many like different toppings and everything so y'all know I don't know how to be normal so this avocado toast will be anything but that to start, we shall make some simple guac using two mini avocados. They are so cute. Mashing them in a bowl with a squeeze of a lemon, pink Himalayan salt, and black pepper to taste. But the toppings are where we're about to have fun. I have some cilantro that will be chopped up, alfalfa bean sprouts, sun-dried tomatoes, maple coconut bacon that I had made, some sweet plantain, I know that it's extra dark, but stay with me because it's perfect. Remember, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice, and the same thing goes with plantain. I have some chopped purple onions, and we will be placing all of this on some beautiful pumpernickel bread. Something super simple, doesn't have to be anything like super seasoned for the actual guac. We have the lemon here. I think I said lime. Lemon. Nothing too crazy. Yes. So right here, we're just gonna mash this up. And this is actually one of those meals for me that I eat for breakfast almost all the time. Like I'll have avocado toast with the green smoothie for anybody who follows me on instagram y'all know i eat green every morning like i have to have something green in the morning or else like my whole day doesn't go like smooth the way i would like it to move and honestly when i first became vegan like i before that actually i ate a lot of omelets like i ate a lot of eggs before and when i decided to make this change i was like what am i gonna have for breakfast like i thought i was going to be lacking but i realized i really have an abundance of choices not only do i have avocado toast that can be switched up and you know you can add whatever you want to it make it sweet make it savory you can do all that but also smoothies yo fruits and vegetables are the best way to start your day and i'm convinced of that like really you know getting all those nutrients first thing in the morning it's like you're waking your brain up waking your body up giving it everything it needs in order for you to perform at the best of your ability and why wouldn't you want to be the best every day are you kidding me are you kidding me this look how colorful you know these ingredients are so I'm gonna just do this and set this aside and I actually want to grill this plantain so I have this little grill here Ooh. so I have my avocado <laughs> avocado oil spray and we're gonna cut this plantain and this plantain I know people are looking at it like why she got this dark plantain honestly when I tell you this is about to be so good like it's gonna be super sweet and it's gonna be perfect it's gonna be perfect 
Don't judge a book by its cover. That's my lesson for today, yo. Can't be judging, yo. It, you can already tell by the way it smells. Oh my gosh, it's about to be extra sweet. Perfect. Okay, so this is hot, so you can hear that sizzle. And this little beauty is from Aisha Curry's line, yo. She's my sister, she didn't even know it yet. <laughs> I love some of her cookware, like this, the way it grows my plantain is just incredible. All right, so while that is grilling and being beautiful, I'm just going to politely, very politely, lay my avocado spread still chunky i don't want it to be too smooth i just i love the texture yes oh my gosh this is beautiful already and i have some pumpernickel bread here just lay that on there all right i think this is ready to be flippity flipped So these literally have tiger stripes, like they are beautiful, they smell incredible, they smell like really, really sweet, like this is perfect, like this is why I chose to wait until it got that dark because I knew that it was going to be like this. I be knowing how to pick my fruits and vegetables, y'all, okay? Honestly, it's not even me who chooses them, they choose me. Like, people always ask me, like, how do you know, like, what fruits and vegetables to choose? Honestly, they choose me. Like, I go to the grocery store for fun. I go to the farmer's market for fun. I go. I spend time there. I wait until, like, something calls me. Like, I'll go to the store for something, and then I'll end up leaving with other fruits and vegetables. Just off the strength that it just spoke to me. So we'll turn it down a little bit. And while this is finishing, I'll start dressing these up a little bit more. And a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people ask me, you know, just my story, but like about like how, you know, I went vegan, why I stopped eating meat. The way it started was I, the way my family is, we don't really, we never really ate bad, but when I was about nine, they cut out all red meat out of our diet. And at that point, I was very curious. So I'm, I'm about to just chop up some cilantro here. I was very curious as to why they chose to cut out red meat, but we were still allowed to eat chicken and fish. It, it was just like, I was just very curious as a youth and I would do my own research and I did a lot of sports when I was younger. I did gymnastics for eight years, I ran track, I did karate, so I was very into fitness and just treating your body well and it came to a point where I learned that when it comes to fitness it's 80% nutrition and 20% actually working out. So I started to focus more on okay what do I really need to make my body be perform at its greatest ability and just be the best so i would do experiments on my body so for a week i would just eat chicken for a week i would just eat fish and then a week i would eat neither and record how i feel and see how i feel and i always felt better eating neither so i kind of just in september of 2017 i just cut it all out and i haven't looked back since yo it's just been an incredible journey and i feel like a lot of people when they hear oh you went vegan they they think that, you know, being plant-based or being vegan or whatever you want to call it, I personally don't like any labels at all. I just don't eat meat. Like, why do I have to call myself something and then people start, I don't know, I just don't like labels. Because it, it comes with a, a, a stereotype and a story already. So I'd rather just say, you know, I just don't eat meat. I choose not to. Oh my gosh, this is great. 
So yes, I would record how I would I would feel in those weeks, and I always felt better eating neither. So I just made the decision for myself, yo. I made the decision for myself. All right, so I'm kind of freestyling right now a little bit. As you can tell, I'm just like picking stuff up and seeing. Oh, this is about to be great though, I already know it. Cooking to me is, I guess you can say it's therapeutic, but it's my way to spread love and be love and just express myself. Like right now, you are witnessing me expressing myself in the most pure and honest form. This is just what I do. Like, this is who I am. Like, not to say that this is all I can offer because I believe I'm talented in many different aspects, not to, you know, sound cocky or anything, but I know myself and I found myself in solitude. And every time, you know, I get put in that position where I'm by myself, I find myself in the kitchen and I just keep finding myself there. So I decided, you know, I'm gonna just run with this. And anything you work hard on, it always blossoms and it grows. So this is what I have right now. It looks great right now, but I'm about to just grab some stuff and just top this off. So I have some black sesame seeds here and I'm about to just Sprinkle on top, like sesame seed bay, black sesame seed bay. Yes, get that trending. Oh, wait, hold up, because I have lavender to cook with. Oh my gosh. Can you guys smell this? It's lavender. Edible lavender. I know y'all smell it. Oh my gosh. Lav I'm now lavender bay. Just because. And we're done. That's it. Done. Avocado toast. My way. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This one smells just like... It smells so good because I have the lavender on there and the cilantro and they both have really, you know, pertinent, like... Not pertinent, but like... They have very loud flavors like they oh my gosh i'm excited mm. the lavender with the lemon from the guacamole the way they come together is so different Yes, and this pumpernickel bread, oh my gosh, it's very chewy, but in a good way. And sometimes purple onions annoy me because they're bitter, but they're not annoying right now. They're like complimenting everything. And these sun-dried tomatoes are sweet for whatever reason. I'm going to try this side with the plantain and the coconut bacon and I made that coconut it's actually maple coconut bacon that I made so good I made it like maybe two days ago and I put it aside because I always have some in a mason jar somewhere mm. <laughs> I love plantain y'all I can't I'm gonna just take a Polaroid picture of myself and just eat this by myself. I need to just enjoy this by myself. <laughs> I'm about to take a picture with this. All right, ready? Vegan cheese. 